our teacher trainees are also a dedicated lot uh, they love in fact as we as we interview them for admission uh, we try to emphasize on the need of them realizing that they are teachers and uh, we look onto the areas where we feel as teacher educators this person fit to become a teacher so that as we release them to the field or to the communities we are already aware that the first thing is that they love being teachers and uh, 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 we actually get our whatever that we teach from the producer of the learning material that is KICD uh, that is where we base all our training in. We get our curriculum designs and we ensure that in those curriculum design they are oriented to the competency based curriculum because as you are aware the competency based curriculum is what we are emphasizing and as teacher trainers we have realized the importance of CBC. CBC is the way to go. Those of us who have uh, gone through the curriculum design, what is expected of CBC after our children or the learners or the student, they are through with the systems, the country will begin to reap its fruits. So I'm urging everyone, particularly the entire nation, to support the CBC curriculum because this is what our country requires at the moment. Yes, uh, and um, probably to speak on uh, on our student population, we try as much as possible to ensure that we treat all our students equally. We, we identify the needy teacher trainees, and as a college, we have, uh, we have, we have, we have a program for them first. We, we, we ensure that the income from the income generating activity, all of it is given to the, 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 the welfare committee to, to assist the needy. So once you come to Narok Teachers Training College, you are sure you are going to complete your program. Once we have a, you have secured a chance to be in Narok Teachers Training uh, College. And uh, we have uh, uh, adopted the online training. In fact, we are, we've gone as per the requirement of the 21st century. Our teachers are compliant, are online compliant. In fact, all our assessment, when I talk of assessment, these are exams. The exams are all online. We are moving away from the paper, the written exam. We have a program that actually allows our teacher trainees to sit on the exams online. And even where we are going is that most of our training will be online. And unless uh, that time that we feel we, we need the face to face, that's where we are getting to. Uh, and we actually thank the government for having assisted us get the Wi-Fi. In fact, uh, we already have our student can access free internet yeah that is being supplied by the government of kenya and the uh the kenneth we have we have those internets so we pay the kenneth and then our students uh freely access uh, the internet within the college uh you know in every institution it has got its own challenges uh, our institution currently has a large population of a, a thousand teacher trainees that has posed a big challenge to us accommodating them in the lecture rooms and in the hostels. So we have a shortage of lecture rooms and we also have a shortage of hostels and uh, CBC requires some technical areas like the home science room. We have it but it's not enough. The computer lab we have one and we require three. The art room we have one and we require three. Yes? Yeah, and the science, the laboratory, we require four and we have one. The computer lab, the computer lab we require we, we have two, we require five because every we want every student 
uh, to access the computer lab. We also require at least some smart classrooms. We only have one that has been provided by the government of Kenya through the Ministry of Education and we require like four.